What is up guys, Art Shadow here, and I'm back for the How to Draw Foxy drawing tutorial. Um, so where we left off, we left off on the head. We were just finishing, uh, I think the ear. We were working on the ear last time, so let's kind of make some adjustments real quick. So, I kind of make this part wider. And here. Put these little lines here inside the ear. I'm gonna put little four small circles in the ear, like that. Uh, next, we're gonna come to. I still think this is a little too, like, I guess thin. So let's kind of make a quick adjustment, like that. That. I think it'll look yeah, I think it's gonna come out better when the teeth get put in. Once the teeth make it in it'll look better. Uh let's start adding the endoskeleton mouth. So it's literally just like a a U like this. It's kinda like this and Yeah. Now we're gonna add the uh, well, since this part's actually connected to the framing of the mouthpiece back here, we're going to add it inside of the here, right here, and um, yeah. We're going to start adding the hinges right here. Add these hinges. I'm just going to add the hinges real quick. Like that. And as such, we're going to kind of draw a baseline here for our the top of our endoskeleton mouth. Like this. We want to have. We're gonna start our teeth right here for like. This. You. Hold on. Hey guys, I apologize for the sudden interruption. Uh, I had to go take care of something. So, all right, back to where we were on the drawing. Whew, I'm sorry. Uh, working on the teeth. Just kind of want to start with fangs, kind of at the moment. And just slowly make our way across the jaw like this. Like that. And just start coming down towards the back. Hold on one more second. I'll be right back. Alright, back again. We're gonna we're gonna do an oh, we're gonna do the eyes real quick. So, I want to do a circle, do a smaller circle inside, and do this. And we'll do the same exact thing on the other side. Like that. Just kind of give him that damaged look. So, we're going to throw that there. Kind of make some adjustments here on the head. Like that. Start adding the rest of the teeth on the top. So we're gonna do it like this, same way we did on the other side. Uh, as such. Now we're going to do the endoskeleton teeth, like this. Just kind of, kind of cruise it around, like that. Don't worry about all this showing up, because it's going to get all shaded in. So, just kind of 
do the rest like so. And there. We got all of our endoskeleton teeth. There. Just kind of make some final adjustments here. And start adding the teeth in here. So, sit here. And basically just do the same exact thing we just did a sec ago for the rest of the teeth. Kind of want to make the these teeth sh look a little sharper because uh, they're I guess part of the character so make the teeth sharper it's supposed to look more it's supposed to be like a scary kind of thing so we're just gonna do this last tooth here like that this this drawing makes me think of uh the Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy 1, to be completely honest. Let's erase this extra line here from the endoskeleton ear. Let's kind of fill that in. Add some detail. Like that. Uh, let's see. Next we're going to do the claw arm. I don't know. Uh, I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to do the background. I might uh, keep thinking about it. I'm just like, I'm not too sure. Let's kind of start with a little cylinder like that. If you can see that. Or now, let's turn the paper so you can see better. We're going to come up like this. Bring this one down a little more. Bring it up. Bring it in. Down, around, up. We're going to set it up like that. And set it like that for the moment. Is this is sort of the effect. Alright, now let's add this here. This little box rectangle thing right here in the forearm and we're gonna go we're gonna start our basic hook shape first before we add the whole hook so we're gonna come up kind of curve in bring it around like this kind of if you want help you can uh, draw a circle first like this and draw the rest out like this and darken the rest and just take your draw another line on the back side of that circle to draw the rest of your hook like so, as such just like this it's a common it's a it's a really useful way of doing all of it it helps makes it a lot easier so Everything is easy that way. You don't want to work. You don't want to waste too much time trying to get it right. You want to get. You want to try the. You want to do like the least amount to get it done right. You want to get it on the first shot. So now we have the arm. I kind of have to move the paper so you can see, like that. Uh. Uh, if you give me a second, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Uh, I'm sorry for all the interruptions and how I keep disappearing on y'all, but, uh, you know, what's life? So, I'm gonna come back to this arm and draw a bar here first. I'm gonna draw the endoskeleton bar here for the arm. I'm gonna start it off like that. And uh, I'm going to draw this line right here, bring it down, and bring it back like that. I want a um, 
Let's make a box first before we do the next part. So make like a little box like this. And um, we're going to bring a little wrap thing around here on this part. And we're actually going to do the same exact thing towards the bottom, except it's not going to be a box. It's going to be more of a... arrowhead kind of shape. And we're going to do the same little bar thing right here. Like that. I'm going to draw a little gap in this arm right here. Like that. And uh, that's the main bit of it for right now until we start shading. Unless you want to add the little notches up here on the top of the arm right here right here and right here so I'm going to bring another line right here bring it back down right here this is kind of like the I guess the seam and the costume alright so we already got our hook here and we have our little slot in the forearm. I'm going to kind of wind this up a bit. Like that. Uh, I guess now we're going to start on the second arm. Just kind of make a little box for the endoskeleton shoulder. Because we already know that Foxy is a bit broken. And we'll just make two right here like this. For that extra broken effect. And now we're going to start on the arm. We're going to do the whole cylinder thing again. Like this. Like, that's better. And bring this arm up. The way I usually do hands, I do it like this. I do like a little box here and then I add detail to it but when I did this drawing I did not do that so we're going to actually try that this time and see how that works for us and uh, we're doing the same kind of thing for this arm except it's a little more open it's all one piece like this and then we're going to have our little bar here our second little bar here and this bar all the way down through the arm like that and bring the bottom of the arm here let's uh, draw some lines for our fingers right here uh, one here one here one here Alright, ow, sorry, uh, now we are going to, uh, before we actually do that, we're going to, I guess, kind of make a little line for the legs, since his legs are more in the background, you're not going to see them as much, so we're just going to shade them in. But this is going to be the little general shape that they take. Because it's more like a lunged over. Okay, so back to what I was saying. So, um, sorry, my uh, my phone stopped recording. Uh, anyway, uh, the way we have his legs set up like this, kind of shortened in the back, it's because he's kind of like curved. So he's kind of making a lunge. So he's kind of jumping in from a standing position over and around like this so it's kind of like his legs are more in the background and further back so that's how we're gonna have it we're gonna draw like I guess we're gonna draw part of the background I guess no it's good we're gonna do the whole background uh, we're gonna put this together like this <coughs> we just kind of do it really fast like this 
Just kind of imagine a line going through, pull it across, and bring it up. Do the same thing on the other side. Like that. I'm going to draw the little table. Let's draw a little curve. Set up the part of the Mike's desk or whatever. Draw his little Draw the little panels from the screen, move that up for you. Draw the little screen panels for the game. Just one arrow like this. Draw the other one like that. And just do the same thing on the other side, like that. Like this. Alright, so next we're gonna do the little. We're gonna kinda erase this extra line here. Like this. Kinda fix it up. Draw the little papers that sit on the desk. Like this. Right? And we're gonna draw his little crumpled papers. Draw this third paper right here that I missed. Draw this third paper. And draw the little drink like this. And bring the straw up like that. And just kind of add the little stripes. We got his little drink. Alright, now we're just going to add some details to the crumpled paper. It's not very hard, just kind of add some lines. Like this. Yeah, one more. There, we got his little crumbled papers. All right, next we are going to add the rest of this right here. Bring it down on both sides. Uh, draw the little warning symbol here. That. Oh, all that later. I'll do that in the end. And uh, let's start adding the fingers. What I'm going to do for his fingers is I'm just going to kind of do it the same way I did it the other, on the other one. And just kind of do one cylinder and then put another one on top of it and just darken that one. Like I did with the original one. Because I seem to like it that way. And just... And sit it like that. Uh, my leg's falling asleep. Anyway, all right. So we got our general hand for him now. So we're just gonna kind of finish it up. Kind of looks weird. Just feel it like that. kind of do this, brace our extra lining, uh, and uh, this just about covers it. The only other thing that's left to be done is the shading, and uh, I'm going to go into a time lapse to do that. So. Um, if you give me about a second, I will jump to time lapse and I'll finish this up.
Alright guys, and that's how you draw Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, how about uh, comments in the uh, How about some comments below? Uh, let me know what you think. What is your favorite fa uh, Five Nights at Freddy's uh, animatronic? Uh, which one is your favorite and why? Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Oh, I forgot his nose. How silly of me. How about leaving a like for that nose? <laughs> anyway, uh, leave uh, leave a like, uh, comment your favorite Five Nights at Freddy's animatronic, and why, and uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm Art Shadow, and I'll see you guys next time.